Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I am back with the 13 Haunted Projects of Halloween. Today I'm on number 11 and we're going to make this cute little trick-or-treat bag. This style of bag has been around for a very long time. It's nothing new, nothing I came up with. I just came up with the size, um, this size today. I love making these. You can make them, you know, any width and height that you want. You can make them as large or small, you know, depending on what size card you have. But this one's a really cute size and I was able, because I'm not eating candy and a lot of my family members and friends aren't either right now, I was able to fit two and you could probably fit more than that in here, but I fit two of the Studio G glitter glues um, in here really nicely and there was still more room in there for more loot. So if you do want to do treats, you could probably um, put a lot of the fun size candy bars in there if you'd like. They'll fit a lot of those. And then I just used some of this um, decorative shred that I got from the Dollar Tree and just threw some of that in. And that was it. Called it a day. Maybe I'll put a cute little bow on it later. I don't know. But for right now, I thought it came out kind of sweet. So let's get started. What you're going to need is a piece, a decorative piece. Now, this is the one that makes the bag. Okay? So you don't want to use a piece that's too flimsy. You want it to be a thicker kind of card. This one is from the Trick or Treat stack from the Paper Studio. I love this paper pad. It's been around for a long time. But I do love the fun, bright colors and characters in the pad. I have two of these actually, so I'd like to start using them up. But anyway, this sheet of cardstock measures... Um, let me put my glasses on. <laughs> This is your wraparound sheet and it measures 10 inches by two and a half. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. You're also going to need two little handle pieces. These are gonna be for your, your handles that I'm holding right now. I measured those at five inches by a half inch. We'll set those aside. Then you're gonna need a strip to go around the bottom of your treat bag. That's gonna measure 10 inches by a half an inch. We'll set that aside. Then you're gonna need the top piece. I made this a little wider because I used a border punch to cut this out. You guys could use anything you want. You could use ribbon, um, just some decorative. You could use two half inch pieces that go around completely up to you but if you want to use a decorative punch I measured mine out at 10 inches by a half an inch I'm using this Martha Stewart border punch and I just went ahead and started from one end and you just go in and line it up and I love this it's so pretty my favorite was the scallop one that I had, but I used it so much, I wore the punch out. Like the rubber piece came off and, oh, I was so bummed. So maybe one day I'll find another one on eBay or Amazon. But for now, this is my, my second favorite. Okay, so I just went ahead and punched that out. And then you're gonna need a piece for the base of your bag or box, whatever you want to call it. And that piece measures four and a quarter by two and a half. And you're gonna line it up in your scoreboard and you're going to score at a half an inch on all four sides. So score half, flip it. Score half, flip. inch and half an inch. Okay, I'm going to move my 
scoreboard here. And I'm going to fold up my score lines. I love these. You can make these for any theme. And they're really pretty because they look like a little purse. They're really pretty for birthday gifts. And you can put gift cards in there. Um, they're really nice for Christmas too. But uh, they're really pretty for birthday presents and Mother's Day. I love making them for Easter. You know, which whatever. And you can make them any size. Like I said, I just making the smaller size here. So you're going to end up with a piece like this and you're going to have four corners. And what you want to do is you just want to cut up on that score line to meet the next one. And then I just cut a little kind of sliver out of there. So it looks like that. Next one, cut on the score line to meet that. And then I just cut out a little angle there. That way when I go to fold up my box, it's very easy to make it flush with the top. Cut out a little bit there. Same thing on this side. I like making these. Um, I might even come up with a, a smaller measurements specifically just for a gift card, maybe a treat or two, but you could fit a gift card in here no problem with this. Um, and then make it, you know, put a little card with it and say happy shopping. That's always a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to fold the four corners in and add some glue. To my four corners. And then I'm just going to fold my box up. You can use uh, glue dots, two-sided tape. I like to use liquid glue. It holds really nice. And it is forgiving if you put it together and you didn't quite lay that right. You can peel it up before you really pinch it closed. Sometimes with the glue dots and um, two-sided tape, depending on how strong it is, once you lay it down, it's down. So. I use liquid glue often for that reason. Okay, so now we have our little base of our little treat bag here. So on this decorative piece, I'm going to flip it to the inside. I'm going to take my double-sided tape on the right, or all the way across the bottom. I'm going to run this tape right up to the end here. And then I'm going to run a piece on this right side going all the way up to the edge. And I like to run my bone folder over the tape because it releases the, the tape, the paper a little bit better and I'm not sitting there really trying hard to pick it off. Okay, so we have double sided tape all along the bottom and the right side. I'm going to peel off. Paper. We're going to take the bottom of our box and this edge here, we're going to line it up with tape. I go about halfway in and line it up and then I take my bone folder and I'm going to press it down. And basically we're going to roll this. So if you guys can see, I'm going to lay this edge down. Line it up to the end there and press it down. Then this we're going to roll down onto the tape, lining it up as best we can and pressing it down. Now we're going to lay this edge down. I'm going to do it this way. Line it up. So, so far you can see we have it all lined up and smooth on the bottom and then we're going to lay this piece down but before we do we want to take this paper off that tape 
so that this can adhere to this side of the box. And just take this and line it up as best you can. And then use your bone folder inside to really press down all of the sides. Okay, so now you have your treat bag. That wasn't so bad, right? Before I put my handles on, I'm going to line up and put my border on. So I'm going to add some glue all the way down and pretty much wrap it around the box. I'm going to start at the seam back here and just kind of overlap that seam and run it all the way around. And then this little piece here is kind of flapping up, so I'm going to add some glue to that. And try to line those up as best I can. Okay, so that's the top part. I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom strip. And like I said, this is 10 inches by a half an inch. I got a little clog there in my glue. I love making all these kind of fun things. I send out, um, you know, happy mail to my niece and my sister-in-law and my mom sometimes because my mom lives a few hours away and some of my, uh, my bestie and um, some of my crafty friends. So it's always fun to package up. I don't know why I keep getting... I think I have like a, oh I do, I have like a little dried thing on here. Let me get that off. It's always fun to try to package up the gifts that you're giving in handmade packages, envelopes. Oh, I'm really having a problem with this glue today. There we go. Must have had a little, little glue clog in it. I do kind of want to smooth that out though because that was a lot of glue. <laughs> okay. And I think I'm going to line it up the same spot on the back where that fold is. And just try to line up my edge all the way around. These are so fun to make. And I'm going to go through on the inside and run my bone folder around just so it's really nice and secure. Okay, so now we have our two handle pieces. And I'm going to run my bone folder under it and crinkle it up a little bit, curl it up. And then I'm going to put glue about half inch up on both sides. Okay, I'm going to hold it like this and twist it okay so you're just gonna take it and twist the handles in towards you and line them up and glue them on and that's you just want to eyeball how you like it to lay sometimes I do one at a time Okay, and then on that side, same thing. Glue on the outer edge about a half inch up. And then I just twist it and lay it in there. All right, and that's it. Then for my trick or treat sentiment, I used this pink paisley stamp set, the trick or treat. I got this at Tuesday morning. Uh, a little while ago and I just these the these little scrap pieces are perfect to save for such occasion you know you wanna you have little stamps you can use stamp your sentiments on and I'm just gonna make a little banner edge here okay 
and then I put some of this foam tape, cut little pieces here for the back, just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm going to back this up with some black cardstock and trim that out, and then we'll glue it on. And then I picked out some ghost buttons for this one. Instead of like this one, I have little pumpkin buttons to kind of finish off my handles here. Well, this one's orange, so I didn't wasn't too sure that pumpkin buttons would look good with that. So I picked out some ghosts and just trimming up my cardstock here. Just wanted to have a little edge to it. Add some glue. And I'm going to angle that. And I think I'll run my bone folder on it in the inside of the box. And these two pieces, I've already cut the shanks off the buttons, and I'm going to use hot glue for this. And if you're not quite sure what I mean by cutting off the shanks, there's this little um, shank piece here that you use for sewing. And I basically just took my little metal nippers here and line it up. You're going to want to put your hand over it because it will go flying. And of course, this one didn't go flying. Oh, there it went. <laughs> so you just cut those little shanks off there. I'll find it then before my cats do, right? And then I'm going to take my tweezers because it's easier for me. I don't want to burn my fingers. Add some hot glue and line my little ghost up here. Oop. And this side, Put some hot glue. You don't want to put too much on because once you push it down, it'll, you know, all come out and you'll see all the hot glue. And that's it. That's my little treat bag. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope you have fun making yours. Thanks for watching. Take care and happy crafting.